two rival German retailers are fighting for grocery store dominance. Let's find out which one is better. Welcome to Gary Talks Money, the finance channel without the gimmicks. My name is Gary, and today we're talking about two German discount grocery chains and how they compare to one another. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I've already professed my love for Aldi. In fact, I made two whole videos about the chain and what I recommend you pick up there. If you want to check those videos out, a playlist will be linked up there and down in the description below. On a recent vacation in Georgia, I actually stopped in and visited another German discount grocery store, Little, and thought it might be a cool idea to make a video comparing the two. So today, I want to compare Aldi and Little and talk about a few things. Some background info about the two chains, what their store sizes and layouts look like, their similarities and differences, and how prices at the two stores compare. Before we jump in, I'm curious to know whether you shop at Aldi or Little. If you do, which store do you prefer and why? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, be sure to get subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. All right, let's talk about these two stores. All right, I thought I'd begin with a little bit of background info about both of these grocery chains, starting with Aldi. Aldi is a grocery store conglomerate that's headquartered in Essen, Germany, and they have over 11,000 grocery store locations worldwide. Aldi stores can be found in Europe, Asia, the US, and Australia. Aldi originally expanded to the United States market in 1976. These days, they serve 36 states and have about 2,200 locations across the US. Lidl is another grocery store chain headquartered in Neckarsulm, Germany. Lidl has over 12,000 locations, and they are located throughout Europe and the United States. Now, Lidl was quite a bit later to the game in expanding into the United United States, and they didn't come to the US market until 2017. That means that their rival Aldi had over a 40 year head start here in the US market. Little currently serves six states along with the District of Columbia. Those states are Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Maryland, Pennsylvania, and Georgia. Right now, Little has about 170 locations across the eastern seaboard of the US. All right, now that we covered a little bit of background information about both of these chains, let's talk about their store layouts and sizes. To start off, all these stores are usually around 18,000 square feet in size. They can be standalone stores or located in a shopping plaza with other stores. In the past, Aldi's store design has been a little bit stark and utilitarian. Their stores generally had a limited number of windows, they utilized fluorescent lighting, and they had a lot of cold, dull tile around the store. In recent years, however, they've made big strides in the design department, and they've started to make stores that are a lot more bright, airy, and open. Nowadays, their stores feature more windows, they have bright, colorful signage, and they take nature-inspired cues with things like wood-toned flooring and colorful accents on the walls. All these U.S. stores are typically located in suburban areas that are within three miles of a major population center. Generally, Aldi likes to put their stores on a main road that has an intersection with a stoplight. Now, in general, Aldi focuses on smaller footprint stores, and they usually just carry the bare essentials. As a result, most of their departments can be pretty streamlined. Aldi's U.S. stores typically carry around 1,400 individual products. In contrast, Little's U.S. stores are around 36,000 square feet, or about double the size. Now, unlike Aldi, Little generally operates standalone stores. You don't usually see their stores in a shopping plaza with other shops. Little's stores are quite sleek, modern, airy, and inviting. Generally, their store architecture uses a lot of glass and open spaces, and they're generally a nice place to be. Just like Aldi, Little generally locates their stores in suburban areas, and they try to stay within two miles of a major population center. Similar to Aldi, Little tries to stay on main roads with intersections and stoplights just to increase the amount of foot traffic that's coming in. Since Little's stores are quite a bit larger, they're a bit closer in format to the full-service grocery stores that we're more accustomed to here in the U.S. Now, while all these stores carry around 1,400 products, Little's U.S. stores carry around 4,000 products.
Now that we talked about both stores size and layout, let's talk about some similarities between the two. First of all, both of these stores have German parent companies, so they have some similar philosophies about things like store layout, design, architecture, and the general shopping experience. Both stores offer relatively bare bones shopping experiences. These are things like open shelving, simple signage, and relatively spartan store interiors. In both stores, you're going to see bulk stacking of products on the shelves and in the aisles, and it's usually going to be in the original shipping boxes. Both chains favor streamlined store designs that forego some of the amenities that bigger grocery chains have. These are going to be things like in-house delis, meat counters, seafood counters, and dining areas. Something that's a commonality between both of these stores is the fact that neither of them offer free grocery bags. As a result, you're going to need to either bring your own grocery bags from home or purchase some when you get to the store. Another thing that's similar about both of the stores is that both offer a wide range of prices private label products, and generally don't stock a huge selection of name brand products. Another thing that is similar between the two stores is that both tend to carry a nice selection of European specialty products. These are going to be things like jams and jellies, chocolates, baked goods, and seasonal items. One thing that I've noticed is that while Aldi does carry a pretty good selection of these things, Little just seems to have more of these types of items on the shelf, and they dedicate a good bit of shelf space to things like like European seasonal items that Aldi doesn't seem to do as much of. Another similarity between both of the stores is the fact that both chains have low prices on everyday essentials. These are going to be things like milk, eggs, sugar, flour, canned goods, and fruits and vegetables. And finally, another unique thing that both of these grocery chains share is the fact that they both carry a small selection of non-grocery items. These are things like apparel, furniture, home improvement items, small appliances, Appliances and even electronics. All right, we talked about the similarities between both of these stores. Now let's talk about the differences. These are just a few of the differences that I've noticed in the stores that I visited. They may not be universal differences, but I still wanted to mention them anyway. The first difference that I noticed was in the cart experience. Aldi requires you to put in a 25 cent deposit to borrow one of their shopping carts, and Little actually does not do this. I've been to several Little grocery stores across several states, and I've not noticed any chains on the grocery carts or any of the mechanisms to put the coins into. So that's something that is a little bit different about Little than Aldi. Another difference is in the checkout experience. Aldi has generally a mix of cashiers and self-checkouts in their stores, and I've noticed that they've started to migrate more and more towards self-checkout in their newer stores. The little store that I visited in Augusta, Georgia did not have any self-checkout kiosks. It was all employees that were checking you out at a physical counter, so that was a difference that I noticed. I will say that I have been to a couple of little stores that did have self-checkout, so I don't know if this is a location-by-location location difference or whether Little at some point removed self-checkout from their stores. If you know the answer to that, let me know down in the comments section. Another difference between Aldi and Little is the fact that Little has in-store bakeries at all of their U.S. grocery stores, whereas Aldi does not have in-store bakeries at a majority of their U.S. stores. Now, Aldi has recently begun piloting a program where they're putting in-store bakeries into select locations, but these are not actually available in my my Florida stores. I've never visited one before, so I can't speak to the quality or the type of baked goods that they put out. I just know that it was a program that they started back recently, and we may see more in-store bakeries at Aldi soon. Another difference between the two stores is the size of the stores. As we mentioned, Little's stores are generally about twice the size of your average Aldi store. As a result, pretty much every section in your Little grocery store is going to be larger. Since Little's grocery store store format is quite a bit bigger. Little tends to feel a little bit more like an American style supermarket than Aldi does. Another thing that is a direct result of the size difference between Aldi and Little is the amount of items that both stores offer. Little in general just has a much larger quantity and selection of items on hand. Their refrigerated and freezer section is absolutely massive compared to Aldi's offering, and it just seems like that most departments have more selection in them than Aldi's stores do. Another unique benefit of 
little stores being a bit larger is the amount of staff that they have on hand. The times that I visited Little's stores, there always seemed to be more staff on the floor ready to assist you or stocking the shelves. During my most recent visit, there were around three to five employees on the floor stocking the shelves, cleaning, and helping customers out. So while it is a minor difference, if you've never been to the store before, it's nice to have an employee on hand that you can ask questions to that can help you find a particular item or can just show you around. The final difference that I noticed between Aldi and Little is the fact that Little offers their customers a rewards program. Little offers customers a loyalty program that allows them to accumulate points towards rewards. The Little app also offers shoppers coupons on a variety of items in store. Another thing that I noticed the last time I was there was that the Little app actually offers a $5 off of 30 promotional signup bonus if you download the app and sign up for the Little rewards program. Now this seems to be a little bit more of a newer offering because I don't remember there being a little rewards program last time I visited a little store so this must be something that was rolled out within the last couple of years. Now while little does offer a loyalty rewards program and coupons off of select items Aldi does not do that. They don't have a mobile app, they don't have a rewards program, and as far as I know they don't accept coupons or even offer coupons on their products. All right, now that we talked about the differences, I wanna look at the last thing, and that is how the prices compare at these two stores. Now, the prices that I'm about to tell you were collected on the same day in the same city. I visited an Aldi store and a Little store in Augusta, Georgia on July 23rd of this year, and I took photos of all of the items that I'm about to tell you about. I compared the prices of seven common staple items at both stores. I looked at the price of eggs, milk, cheese, bread, flour, sugar, and canned vegetables at both stores, and I recorded the results. So let's take a look at how these two stores stack up price-wise, beginning with a dozen eggs. At Aldi, a dozen eggs cost $1.18, while at Little, they cost a little bit more at $1.33. The next thing I took a look at was a gallon of milk, just regular old 2% milk. At Aldi, that gallon of milk cost $2.78. At Little, that same gallon of milk cost $2.81, just a few cents more. I stayed in the dairy aisle and I looked at what the price of an eight ounce package of sliced cheese was. And at Aldi, it was $1.89. At Little, the price was actually exactly the same at $1.89. Next, I moved on to a loaf of bread. At Aldi, the price was $1.29 for a standard loaf of bread. And surprisingly, the price was exactly the same at Little at $1.29. The next thing that I looked at was a five pound bag of flour. At Aldi, the price was $2.19 for that five pound bag of flour. At Little, the price was actually just a little bit lower at $2.05. Now the next thing that I looked at was a four pound bag of sugar. At Aldi, the price came in at $2.75, while at Little, the price was exactly the same, $2.75. Now last but not least, I took a little stroll into the canned vegetable aisle and I looked at what a 15.25 ounce can of corn would be. At Aldi, the price was 64 cents for that can of corn. And at Little, the price was actually exactly the same at 64 cents. As you can see, the prices are very similar, if not the same, on a lot of items at Aldi and Little. You might have a little bit of a higher price on one item at one store, while another item is slightly higher at the other. I think in the end, it just about averages out, and they're very similar price-wise. All right, as you can see, both of these stores have their strengths and their weaknesses, but I think that both of these are both fantastic shopping options if you have them in your area. I think the great thing about both of these stores is that they both offer cost savings on key staple items. They also have a nice selection of private label offerings, and they both offer a good selection of European specialty items as well. I will say, however, since Little has larger and more spacious stores, a bigger selection of products, an in-store bakery, and a rewards program, I think I would probably choose to shop there if I had one nearby. The big disadvantage with Little, of course, is the fact that they currently have a limited number of stores, and all of them are situated along the east coast of the US right now. 
I really, really hope that Little continues to expand in the U.S. and that Aldi continues to refine and expand their options as well. I wholeheartedly think that competition is good for both of these chains, and in the end, it's good for us as consumers. All right, guys, that's going to be about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found the information in this video helpful. If you did, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. Until next time, guys, take care, and I'll see you later.